Hello there, good afternoon, I'm back, Luke Repham, with another episode of TW9 Fight Club Pro. This is episode 2, we premiered the series um, a couple of days ago, and it was very well received, so thank you to everyone, I think it's the most viewed video I've done that's game related, I've done other, I've done other videos like for football shirts and things like that that have got more views, but when it comes to gaming content, this is probably my most viewed video. So I really appreciate the support from all the Discord channels, from all the Facebook groups, and just general word of mouth of people telling other people about me. So I really appreciate it. Honestly, it means a hell of a lot to me. So thank you for that. Um, where you left us off last, we started the series, basically, and I was getting to grips with the game. And we also booked our first show. So this episode, um, we'll hopefully have some more shows booked. What I've done offline is I've basically created a an event a weekly event um to hopefully try and generate a bit of money really more than anything else and also it just it makes the game go a little bit better because it takes forever to process them all on t any tw so yeah so i'll have the first show coming up in a second i just want to do a quick intro um like i said just want to say thank you and uh i got 82 views for the video so we got to beat 82 so Please uh, watch the video, like the video, and subscribe. I've had a few new subscribers as well, so thank you for that. We'll try and beat the record. I want to try and get. Um, I do. I want to try. I want to try and be one of the best TW YouTubers out there. So hopefully, with your help, that can happen. Uh, um, anyway, I'll be back in a sec with the first show of the episode. Right, we're back. Um, sorry, there we go. So. Here is the events and TV, as I was mentioned before. Um, we have got a show weekly event for now called Blackout. Now, obviously, when we get a TV deal, um, we've got Fight Club Pro Afterburn, which is the name of the TV show that we had on the series when I was doing on TW 2020. So that's off there at the moment because we haven't got a TV deal and that probably won't happen for a while. This, is, this FCP Blackout will just be taken off the schedule once we get a TV deal, so it will do for now. Ignore these names for the events, these are just randomized event names that they gave me automatically. I will be changing them offline over the weekend to have um to replicate the actual real life event names that, that Fight Club Pro used to have, um, like Planet Mayhem or whatever it was called and stuff like that. So at the moment it doesn't make much difference because I think the only one we're gonna be doing is where are we august so we probably won't get to the september event psycho surface in this episode anyway because we'll have the blackout episodes um but if we do i'll quickly change it uh, offline and stuff like that but yeah over the weekend i just haven't had a chance to do it because i literally just saw it just now i didn't realize so yeah so we'll just crack on with that and we'll have the logos for the events as well like i'll spend some proper time making it look all nice and realistic to what it was before um yeah like i said before i'm just trying to think we've got that stable here the uh figure four army um brian alvarez is the leader will cruise i think i'm going to push a bit that's why he's the muscle um and then the rest are just lackeys because they're just not going to be any good really to be honest um in the last show that we had we had actually done i think bradley phillips to get a bit of ring time so i think this episode we might look at brendan white and joe lando and shea Persa, see if they're any good um so that's that we haven't got any storylines at the moment because nothing's coming into my head eventually we will probably do a world uh, a hot club pro heavyweight title tournament because it's vacant um, so I will set that up over the weekend as well. So next week we'll start that. But at the moment we're just trying to I'm just trying to get used to playing this game because it is similar to TW twenty twenty, but there there is some differences like the angle the angle thing confuses me. I've got no idea what I'm doing with the angles. Um, but we've got the same product that we had in Fight Club with Fight Club Pro and TW twenty twenty. So at least I know what I need to do for that. So right, let's just crack on. We've got our first episode of our first weekly event blackout. I have num I have them numbered. Um, we're gonna go pick the oh actually no we're not we want to do Star Wars. There we go. Select this menu. Yep. Five. 
my fucking team meeting. I'm not bothered about that. Uh, locker room instance. Roy Knight has gotten a lot of heat as the rest of the, rock, the, the rest of the locker room after pulling a tasteless rib on everybody backstage. Um, Dan Reed chose to respond with a slap on the wrist. Okay. So that's good. So the one the features the new features on this game now is you can have somebody do the disciplinary stuff. So you don't need to do all that. So that's good. Um, head trainer Trent Seven ran up pre-show training drills. Um, Joe Lando and Leon. Oh yeah. So one thing I forgot to tell you. So I have. I mean, um, I think everybody remembers. I had a. I built my own alliance in the last episode. And um, North Wrestling was one of the groups that I managed to get in the alliance. So what I've done is I've done a talent trade. I had um, Ayestin Rees, who I was probably never really going to put in, in any matches. So I've, 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 I've swapped him for Leon Slater. So I think that's a hell of a coup. Um, but yeah, so Leon Slater will be quite prominent. I've got him for six appearances. So yeah, hopefully he'll, he'll do well. Um, he's a really, really good wrestler in real life. He's the next big thing on the British scene. Him and uh, Michael Oku are just um, smashing at the moment. Them two are on the British scene. So I'm really happy that we've got him, even if we're just going for six appearances. So that's really good. Um, Joe Lando and Leon Slater really helped create a fun and relaxed atmosphere backstage after somehow finding a karaoke machine and starting an impromptu pre-show competition. Their over-the-top duet was the highlight according to those in attendance. So that's good. Uh, Matthew, Horgan and uh, Kanji have apparently been hanging out together a lot recently. Um, maybe they'll end up together, I don't know. We'll see. Alright, so that's all that done. And then address the locker room. Um, I'm trying to think. Pull a rib on Roy Knight, I think. Needs to be done. Give him a bit of his own medicine. See how he likes it. Uh, we're going to go elaborate plot. There we go. Ah, oh, that's a shame. He wasn't happy. No, it was Ricky Knight Jr. Oh, well. Shouldn't shouldn't pick on other people. That should be Roy Knight. Right, let's get the show started. So, what we'll do is first single swap. It's going to be Ricky Knight Jr. versus Brendan White. Fifteen minutes. We'll have Ricky Knight Jr. win. Ricky Knight Jr. is pretty good in the ring, so we might be worth pushing him as a single star. And then what we'll do afterwards is we'll have. Um, see, I need to figure out this. I want to do an attack angle, but I don't, I don't know how to do it. It's really, really confusing. This one. Uh, We'll go scripted because improvise doesn't work with the rest of the cart. So part one, no, it's not part one. In ring backstage, we'll do no in ring, in ring angle live. Uh, oh look, I want I think it'll be serious, won't it? It'll be class as serious, and then. I want attack, post-show attack, have we got that on here? Attacker, there we go. Right, attacker, so we go Brendan White, attacker, add. And then I think, I assume, Ricky Knight Jr. will be victim, there we go. It's a bit annoying though, isn't it? Do all that, right, book segment. Huh? Would you like to say part one? Yeah, okay. Book segment. Okay. So then we just need to do why at Night Junior. So don't have baby faces and heels, even though I would say that the um Big Four Army is predominantly a heel group. Uh, so that's that. I think I've done that right. I could be wrong. 
let me know in the comments section if I haven't. And then we'll go Jetta. So this is, um, well, we haven't really got anybody else. I mean, we can do Kanji, I suppose. We'll try Kanji in there. See if she's any good. We'll have Jetta win. Leave it as that. Next match. Right, how much have we done so far? We've got 28 minutes or more left. Trying to keep it to singles matches because it costs a fair bit when the more workers that you push. So what we'll do is we'll have um Will Will Cruz versus Matthew Horgan. He can be the sacrilegible sacrilegible lamb as they say. Have him get destroyed by Will Cruz. We'll have open match though. And then we'll do a uh we'll do Will Cruz character development six minutes. I'll just I'll just put in Cruz in here. It really doesn't matter. What? Hold on. Part one doesn't have any workers involved in it. I just, I just, I just wanted to book something simple. Why is it making it so difficult? Uh, right, let's start again. <sighs> do I want it to be called part one? Oh, I don't know. This is so annoying. I'm having to do this on the video. <laughs> I'm do apologize. Very scripted. Ooh. Say detail. Ah, there we go. I think that's why it's popped up that time. What? Part one doesn't have any workers involved in it. What? What's going on here? Add. That. That's why. Add. Say, this is so long winded. Adam, I don't know why you messed around with the angles. It was, they were perfectly okay the way they were there before. Right, okay. Well, at least that's done. And then what we'll do is we'll have Jade Mastiff versus Jay Persa. We'll just have that as a 12 minute match. We'll have Dave win it. And then we'll have one more match. We'll have Trent Seven versus, hmm, who do we have in Trent? Leon Slater. Give him a go, see if he's any good. We'll go 15 minutes. Up the segment, we'll leave it up to the AI to decide who wins. Um, right, we're good to go, everybody. Let's see how this second, let's see how this first, first blackout episode goes. Um, 40 rating, 49 rating for the segment. Ricky Knight Jr. with an in ring performance of 52. Brandon went with a 45, so it wasn't too bad. Um, Eddie Dennis probably should have done a better job putting the matches together. I feel like this is going to be a common occurrence. He's our only road agent, though. I forgot to um I forgot to ask some of the wrestlers to be road agents. I need to do that. Good shape. Right. Uh Eddie Dennis needs to be taken off road agent duties, I think. Uh the angle got a 31 and then the match with the women got a 36. Um Kanji is only slightly worse than Jetta. Jetta not very rated very well in this database for some reason. Wrestling thirty six, um, but yeah, right. Will Cruz defeated Matthew Morgan, Matthew Horgan, sorry, got a forty three rating. Cruz with a forty three rating, Matt um, Horgan with a thirty nine. So they're both as good as each other, I suppose. If that's anything. Crowd rating was twelve. They didn't really like it. Uh, Amber Lapp has got a fourteen, and then Dave Mastiff. Defeated Shea Persa, got a 39 rating. Dave Mastiff, um, way better than Shea Persa, but that's expected. Again, I think we need to get try and get better road agents, but obviously I'm not going to just bring anybody in. They need to be relatively local or at least UK-based. Um, and then the main event, got a 58 rating. Trent and Leon Slater got, um, well, Trent got 57. Leon got 58, 
and then Trent Seven beat Leon Slater. But yeah, we could definitely do with a better road agent, so I'm going to have a look at that. 48 people, I think that's slightly higher than the last show. 51 rating, which I think is slightly higher than the last show as well, and obviously we've increased our popularity. Uh, won't bother with that. And then we're still the same in the Midlands, but we're slightly up in other regions now. Right, so that's that done. So not too bad of a first episode of Blackout. Um, what I'm going to do is offline. I'm going to ask some of the wrestlers to become road agents because we really do need to do that. So I'll be back in a sec with the next part. Right, we're back for another show, another um, Blackout episode. Um, not much to tell you. My holiday six days, not much has happened, but uh, let me just have a look at the alliances. We did get a news item to say that the one of the titles so we've got Ran Keicho is this is the alliance titles, um, vacant tag team titles and no women's titles. So why is a woman's wrestler the heavyweight champion? I don't know. Right, we need to do male only for the heavyweight. There we go. And then what we'll do is we'll vacate the title. So there we go, that's that sorted. Um right, let's crack on with the next blackout episode. As always, we will be at the Starworks warehouse. Uh we'll ignore the book meeting as always. Right, Dan Reed got into an argument with Trent Seven backstage, annoyed at the mor uh, morale off his chance to team built with him. Uh, okay. Head trainer, same as usual. Um, there has been some grumblings backstage from Roy Knight, who isn't happy about Eddie Dennis holding the senior road agent position. So the problem with these new features now is going to cause nothing but issues when it comes to morale. So you'll get wrestlers falling out with wrestlers very quickly because of certain wrestlers' positions in the power structure of the company. Um, so there's a few people not happy with Eddie Dennis being the senior road agent. Um, so we need to get rid of, I think we need to change the senior road agent. Definitely by the looks of it. Yeah. Okay. A lot of people are not happy by the looks of it. Um, I, can, I, I can't do anything about it until after this show. Um, Millie McKenzie and Man Like Doris are now travel buddies. Ricky Knight Jr. and Joe Lando. Joe Lando bonded recently so that's good and then Glenn Money and Joe Lando really helped create a fun and relaxed atmosphere backstage um, after somehow oh, right, so it's basically the same as last time it's a karaoke session um, call out uh, intervene hold on let me have a look ah, uh, I don't no it doesn't need an intervention Call out a specific work group and rather than challenge them on their match. Ah, there we go. So what we'll do is Eddie Dennis. It was Eddie Dennis, wasn't it? Oh yeah, we'll soon find out. You call out our Eddie Dennis went badly and he soured your relationship with him. Okay, fine. It was worth a try. Right then. Let's start the first have the first match. So we'll have Lee Hunter versus Amari. They haven't wrestled for us yet, so we'll take them. Two minutes, leave it blank. We'll have um, Lee Hunter attack afterwards. Part two, we'll call this, and then we'll have Omari kick in. And then we'll save that, and then that should work. Didn't work. Do Hunter attack and then right. hopefully this will work now. There we go. Excellent. I kind of figured out how to do these bloody angles now. Right. Um with that. Well, who hasn't wrestled for us yet? Man like Doris, there we go. A man like Doris versus Leon Slater. That should be a pretty good match. 17 minutes, leave it blank. Oh, 
Uh, we can't do 17 minutes with man like Doris. So 15 minutes. And then we'll do another match. One on one. We'll do Joe Lando. We'll have Joe Lando. He can get squashed by. Uh, we'll give Joe Glenn money. And then we'll do an angle afterwards where Joe Lando lets me attack Joe Lando. We'll go Lando attacks. And then um and then we'll have Glenn I'm sorry, Gene Money. Him. Then we save it, and then I think that's how you do it, everybody. People who don't know, so there you go. So that's that done. And then we've done 62 minutes, we've got enough room for one more match. So we'll do, I think we'll do Trent versus Brian Alvarez. This is the character I'm controlling. So that's Trent win. see how this goes so in the first match um omari defeated lee hunter got a 44 rating wrestling rating 42 um ideally i want to be looking at the wrestling overall because that's more important to me than anything else 47 for lee hunter which is good which is good omari not as good uh kid lightos could have done better as road agent so literally any half decent wrestler on the roster I put it as road agents, whether they whether they're good as road agents or not. Hopefully, it'll help. Um, so far, everybody I've got as road agents doesn't look like they're very good. Nineteen rating for the post match beatdown. Uh, Man like Doris versus Leon Slater got a thirty eight segment rating, but forty eight for wrestling, which is good. Uh, Leon Slater with a fifty five rating. Man like Doris with a forty one rating. There was times where there's definite lack of psychology on display. So these two lack of psychology, so we shouldn't really be putting them in a match, I think. But they do have pretty good chemistry, though. Um, what we probably need to do is script. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll do a match with them next time, and then we'll have them scripted. So hopefully that will benefit us. So far, none of the people we've got as road agents are doing very well, which is not good. Right, wrestling rating for this match got a 36 and uh, Gene Money one. I forgot to have a look to see who won the uh, Leon Slater match, but oh well. Um, wins and victories and losses don't really matter at the moment. We're, we're just trying to figure out who we're going to push and then we can do it from there. So 37 for money. Lando got 35. Brian Alvarez did some good work. Um, Joe Lando and Brian Alvarez good pair, so that's good. 17 rating for the angle afterwards. And then the main event, Trent Seven defeat Brian Alvarez. Um, I got a 38 rating, 35 rating for the uh, wrestling. Brian Alvarez, absolutely rubbish. Trent Seven carried him, luckily. Um, and Lee Hunter could have done a better job as road agent, but yeah. So we've increased our popularity in one region. We've got 36 rating, so not very good. Um, slightly bigger crowd this time, though. Can I just skip this? I wish it would just let me automatically skip it without doing that. Take note. Um, Adam Ryland. So uh, two nine five for ticket sales, nine for merchandise. We are minus four thousand seven hundred. I'm really hoping when we get this alliance payment, it kind of just balances it out. Because we've got to make money somewhere. Because the events aren't making us money. They're money losses at the moment. So not too bad of a second episode of the. Sorry, second show of the episode. Not bad at all. Yeah, 4,687 in depth at the moment. Uh, Will Cruz has some minor morale issues, though. Uh, morale details, there we go. Happy at sign, irritated with dislike in the choice of head. Oh, okay, fair enough. So I'll just give you a bonus. I thought I turned this off so we didn't have to do this. Oh, no, I didn't. I only turned it off for. Uh, them not getting booked. Um, let me just quickly do 
give him a bonus. Right, so we need to do in a circle head of talent. Oh, it was head. Was it head of? No, senior road agent, wasn't it? Actually, we'll do. We'll change it to Dave. No, change it to Trent Seven now. We've already got. Oh, okay. Um, Eddie Dennis, where are you? Hold on, where is he? Senior road agent. Why is he not on here? Any, 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 any. Uh, ah, that's a good one. We could have just got Bill Seafood. No. Nah. Okay. Where's Eddie Dennis gone on the healing? I can't get, I can't remove him. Oh, why can't I remove him? Brilliant. It won't let me remove him because he's not on here. Right. Hold on. Uh, ah, hold position, yes. It's empty. Why is it empty? This is annoying. Right. I don't know what I need to do. I need to get rid of Eddie Dennis. He's caused enough issues anyway, as it is. So we'll just get rid of him. Our first release of the game. Dennis gone, so I'm assuming. There we go. Right, so when we search for it now, reset it, and then we'll go automatic exclude all super candidates. Ah, here we go. Right, so we can have Trent as senior road agent. There we go. Happy, happy, happy. Right. Okay. Travel organizer, and then what we'll do here is. Uh, automatically exclude all super candidates. We'll go, we'll go Bee Hunter and the travel organizer. Right, who else have we got to get in? We're not going to have a stooge. I should have kept Woody Eddie Dennison. He could have been a stooge, couldn't he? Okay, I think that's that sorted. Everybody seems relatively happy. Maybe next show that we do, we've got to put Clint versus Iesden Reese if he's available. So everybody's had a, uh, a match then. Um, I think that's pretty much it now. So I'll be back in a sec with the next episode, next part of the episode. Right, we're back. Um, I can now. Right. I wish it would just automatically pick Star Wars. It saves me doing it. Room instance, right? Dave Mastiff has been open to playing about Trent Seven. Oh my god, for God's sake. Hold on, Trent Seven having the senior referee position. He's not a referee. What am I doing? What have I done here? Um, Brian Alves and Trent Seven uh, apparently butted heads backstage and both were furious with each other. Well, you know what's going to happen next, then? We're going to have to have Brian Alves versus Trent Seven <laughs> in the match. Um, Have I accidentally put Trent Seven as a referee? Right, middle. Let's see if we can. Trent Seven. Who was the other one? Um. Oh yeah, Brian Alvarez. Oh, he won't let me because I'm Brian Alvarez. <laughs> okay, we'll leave it. Um, team bonding. There we go. Strengthen, strengthen, strengthen. There we go. Good. Looks like. Everybody was happy. Right then, let's see if we can do a better show than we did last time. So, what I'm going to do is we're going to have um, Eastern Reese versus Clint Margera to open the show. And we'll have Clint win. Can't have Clint as the road agent. Dave Mastiff with that. Right, and then what we'll do with an Angle afterwards. And uh, sorry, just checking. I thought in my head then, I thought it wasn't recorded. Right, so what we'll do is we'll do. Um, right, we can. Oh, yeah, yeah. Add. And then. Um, 
print that and we'll do wreaths at five dollars. So it's got six minutes, save details, and then it's sixty. There we go. Getting the hang of it now. It's only it's only took me a few goes to work out there. And what we'll do is we'll do Kid Lycos versus Leon Slater. Fifteen minutes. Leave it as it is. And then we'll do Kid Lycos. I know. Two versus Robbie X. Make that blank as well. And then we'll have we'll have um Robbie X. And then we'll have Kid Lycos 2, Victim uh, X at Lycos 2. Right, let's do one more match and we'll do Trent versus Dave Mastiff. Blank, let the AI decide. Yep, so let's start the show. Um, second got a 47, wrestling rain got a 43. Um, Ice, the Iceland Reese got a 49, he was a stand up performer. So it's a good start to the show. Crowd got hotter, and then Kid Lycos, unfortunately, could have done a better job. The angle afterwards, but the angle got 39, which is pretty good for us. 39. Um, Leon Slayer defeated Kid Lycos by a 59 rating. Kid Lycos with a 45, Leon Slayer with a 61. And then Kid Lycos 2 defeated Robbie X. And that got a 56 rating for the segment, 56 rating for the wrestling. Um, Kid Lycos 2 with stand up performer 58, Robbie X was pretty good as well, 54. Kid Lycos could have done better being a road agent, 31 for the angle. 52 rating for the match, 50 for the segment overall. Trent Seven with 55, he was a better performer out of the two. Lee Hunt could have done a better job. Right, there we go. So that got 50 rating, better than the last show. Same amount of people turned up, 49 people. I'm going to increase the popularity. So we don't want to bother with that. Um, we are now losing a lot of money each, each month now, aren't we? Overall loss is two grand. Workers, that's the thing that's costing us. But we need to, obviously, we can't run a show without wrestlers. That's the problem. But it is what it is. Now go away. Oh, I don't know what happened there. I clicked on something too, too fast. Right. We'll do one more episode of Blackout. And then I shall call it a day for this episode. I don't want to uh, overburden you and, and, and uh, bore you to death. So I'll be back in a sec with the next blackout. Right, we're back for the last show of the episode. Um, I did have a look at the finances. We've started a new month now. Um, we only made £315 from the Alliance. So I, when I did this Fight Club Pro Save um, with, in, on TW 2020, I had in my lights, I had Ring of Honor and PWG, so it did make a massive difference. But obviously, on this one, because they've updated it, you can't get Ring of Honor because they're in an alliance already with AEW. So it does make a bit of a difference financially. Um, and what's also not helping is we're doing, we're doing an event every week. So what's happening here is we're paying out wrestlers um, four times a month, five times a month, because it's five, we do five events a month. And we just don't have the money at the moment to sort this out. So I, I we'll just keep going. At the end of the day, we'll we'll, we'll just keep going in depth and in depth and in depth. It'll just we'll just have to figure it out as we go along. Uh, I could get rid of the weekly shows and just do um one monthly show. Let me know in the comment section if you think I should do that for now, or should I just carry on? Because I don't want to use the editor um to get rid of the money side of things. So it might be a situation where I wait until we're on the verge of bankruptcy and then I'll do something about it with the editor if I have to. I'm hoping to sort that out before then. Um, but what I might do is actually get rid of the weekly events. I probably will have to because, like I 
I said, it's costing us cost of that grand. We'll, we'll do one more month. What we'll do, we'll do one more month for the weekly events. So, and then we'll see how it goes from there. We'll see if we can turn it around. We need to get as few videos as quickly as possible, really. That's the ideal thing, just even if it just balances out. Uh, ticket prices are cheap. Obviously, I don't want to change that. If I change that, we'll get less people in. So, we'll just have to see how it goes, really. But, anyway, we've got our last blackout episode of this episode. So, let's see how we get on. Uh, Starworks Warehouse. How much is that costing us each time? £500. So, it's not, that's not too bad. Is it? Let's have a look. Let's compare it to... Two hundred pounds for the primary center. We're only saving a couple, couple like a hundred quid by doing a couple hundred quid by doing that. It's not. This isn't what's costing us. It's uh having all of the the wrestlers. Well, not all the wrestlers. We haven't got like a massive roster. Back room instance. Nothing to worry about. Training. Uh, came to you back today with the idea of enhancing a, a character. It's been automatically added to your store today. So I did. Okay. Sponsor is backstage, Roy Knight and Matt Taylor. I clicked on that too quickly, sorry. We're backstage, it's Millie McKenzie and Matthew Horgan have been getting on practically well recently. Pretty well recently, sorry. And then Joe Lando has got a lot of heat with the rest of the locker room for pulling the faceless rib on the rest of the room. So, the rest of the locker room, what we need to do is call out Joe Lando for being a dick. Call out Joe Lando and we serve to make him feel much under attack and resulted in becoming defensive. Well, what a surprise. Bully doesn't like being called out. Uh, but as we go, what we're going to do is the first match we're going to have actually, we're going to do five versus five. Oh no, I can't really do that because I just moaned about having loads of wrestlers on the card, so I can't really do that. So we'll do Joe Lando and we'll have him lose to hmm, do, 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 who should we have him lose against? Omari. Like that, there we go. Omari. And we'll have Jetta versus Millie McKenzie. Haven't really got anybody else. We've got Kanji, but she's not very good. Oh, no, I can't leave that blank. Uh, titles, women's title, and then we'll leave it blank. We'll let the AI decide. Uh, um, I don't have to do the character thing that she was on about. Is it angles? No. I'll uh, I'll ask I'll ask on Discord and then figure it out for the next episode. All right, so we just need to do uh, we'll do character development again. We'll do that. Save. Do another one. Random white character development. Do white. Add details. And we'll just mix them here, like so. Right, and um, let's think of another match we can do. Let's do Will Cruz versus Dave Mastiff. That should be two meet two beefy boys going at it. We'll leave it blank, but it'll probably go with Dave Mastiff, but you'll never know. What we'll do afterwards, though, we'll do an angle with Will Cruz attacking um, Dave Mastiff after the match. And we'll do pop it in here. There we go. Cruz attacks. Yeah, I don't know. Um, The magic number of six. Yeah, it's fine. Right. Um, and we've got time for one more match. We'll do Trent versus Roy Knight. No, we won't. We won't do Roy Knight. We've already done Trent versus Leon Slater, so we won't do that. Kid Lycos two. No, Lee Hunter actually. Let's do that. The road agent cannot be. Okay. 
type stuff. There we go. Right. So, uh, Amari defeated Joe Lando, second got 38, in ring wrestling got the 39. Um, Joe Lando with a better ring in ring rating than um, Omari. Surprising. Character development got the angle got 21 for Brendan White. Oh, yeah, we forgot to actually, I need to change that angle to the switch to. Of the show, uh, Millie McKenzie defeated Jetta. Millie McKenzie ma makes defense number one of the FCP women's title, got a 50 rating, 47 for wrestling rating. Uh, Millie McKenzie stand up performer here with 59. Jetta seems off, off her game. Roy Knight could have done better job. Uh, Dangle with Ashley Dunn got a 20. Then the uh, Dave Masters defeated Claude Cruz. 41 rating, wrestling rating 39. Dave Masters was quite a bit better than Will Cruz, but Will Cruz still did okay. And then the Amber Lashley's got a 27. Uh, and then the main event, Trent Seven defeated Lee Hunter, got a 51 rating, 50 rating over for the wrestling, 55 for Trent Seven, 45 for Lee Hunter. Improved that, increased our popularity in one region. We only got 46, which is not as good as last time. We got one more person that turned up though, so that's good. Slightly, slowly but surely, building the attendances up. Um, ticket sales we only made three hundred pounds. Workers cost was one thousand eight hundred. Show cost was six hundred thirty-five. So we're now minus ten grand. We've slightly increased our popularity in the Midlands to eleven now. That's good. Some positives there. The only thing that's the thing that is concerning at the moment is the finances, but I really don't know what to do. Do I get do I not book any of my like high contract wrestlers for a bit? But then if I'm only making three hundred pounds per show, it really doesn't matter who I book because I'm always gonna be minus anyway. So I don't know what to do really. Let me know in the comments section, please. I would like some help with this. Um, just give him another bonus. No, still not happy. Can't I can't give him any more because the finances are rubbish. Uh, I'll figure this out offline. Right, saving that. Anyway, I'm gonna call it a day. Thank you, um, to everyone who's watched this episode, especially to the people who watched it all the way through. Um. Much appreciate. I know some people watch it in sections, so that's fine. Uh, let me know in the comment section if you think that the the episodes are too long. If you want me to do um, shorter episodes where I just do maybe one one episode of blackout per episode and just leave it as fifteen minutes for, or maybe two episodes and up to about twenty five minutes. Let me know in the comment section if you want shorter in length episodes. If you're happy. That's fine. Just let me know. I need feedback off people. The TW company, uh, the TW community, is really good at helping me. So just let me know in the comment section. I won't take offense because it will make me a better content creator. So let me know if they're too long. Let me know if they're fine. Let me know if you're enjoying it. Um, let me know if you've got any booking ideas that you want me to implement with the wrestlers I've got. If there's any wrestlers on the UK scene that you think would be good. Uh, and also try and try and help me figure out how to sort this financial situation out without using the editor. I really don't want to cheat this time. So let me know and I'll be back next week. Next so I think Wednesdays and Saturdays will be TW um content. So yeah, watch out for that and I'll uh, I'll be back soon. Enjoy the rest of your week. All the best. Bye.